some states in America in MMA, it's banned. Under the bridge in a nose, boom, it's a chop down. You wanna really do some damage? Pick up, pick up, slam. This can literally burst an eardrum. Prying his head back with them, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Straight into the eyes. How long have we got? He's still. Okay, now I know what we're doing and it is nasty. Now this is something we're gonna show you here, but this is not to be like played around with or messed with. Three, we're gonna give you three things that you're able to do that will end the situation mm. and keep you safe. And they're, they're like last resort. Yeah, and they're in some pretty bad positions as well. They're not positions that you, you want to be hanging around in and trying to figure out what to do. Um, these are quite quick, effective, well, um, I'd say extremely effective and dangerous as well if they're done correctly, so. Ambitious. So here we go with added extra, getting super dirty. So what we're looking for here is, this is gonna be when someone's got hold of you, they've worked their way in, maybe you've gone for that risk control, it's failed, and they've just got in, or as in many fights go, someone's just come in, just gripped it and grabbed, and I'm hugging tight, there's a panty I could baby, go pick up, slam, yeah. or take you down, you know, driving yeah. my head underneath, because I don't know what I'm doing. And the move for this is gonna be, yeah, so we've got a couple of options here. First one, I'm gonna to try to slap the ears. I'm gonna cup my hand, I'm gonna cup, I'm gonna slap on the ears. These are, they don't seem like much, but they are very, very, very disorientating. And if you land so, stiff and you cup that air and force it into the air, you'll either A, bring that hand back up, or B, they'll start shrugging their head away because they really don't enjoy it. And that's, that'll give us the space we need for the second part. This can literally burst an eardrum. Yeah. So do not be practicing this on people, but you're literally looking to cup and Force yeah. that area in, like if you were just clapping your hands, just clap that on the side of their ear, cup as much of their ear in as you can, and again, equilibrium will really disrupt someone to get to the wobble a little bit. Yeah. Or it can literally be a, a boom, until one, a double yeah. one. The effectiveness of it, you can see, yeah. it's coming close. Oh, 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 that. Oh, oh, that. Got a little bit of space. We're clapping on the ears here. Last one, two thumbs straight into the eyes. Okay, again, forcing them into the eyes and prying his head back with them. Okay, if this is done correctly, you'll do more than enough damage to get him to open that grip. And once you've opened it, you can separate. Or if they are really hanging on, force the head towards the ground and take a top position. So I would like to demonstrate that 100%, but I worry for your safety. In real time, grab, and I'm going to try and. Drive you. So we're here, we've been in here. Just come here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not nice. Oh. It's not nice at all. Oh, and as you can see, oh, it leaves me one eye. How long have we got? He's still. Yeah, he's still got another 30 seconds. I think at this point, yeah. I'm either on the way to the shop or. Yeah, that's a good one. Or I've yeah. beaten on you. I think we've thrown that one. Next. Oh. As we see, a lot of times. Fights can end up going down to the floor. And this is a purpose where if you've got top position, you've managed to have a tussle and you've ended up on top, this is the way to finish a fight quick, fast, or at least let someone know they don't want to keep messing with you. And that is... 12 to 6 elbows. Obviously they're illegal in MMA, but they can be used very, very effectively on the streets. It doesn't necessarily need to be a position like half guard, it could be a position where it's like, oh, the middle, or maybe we've even ended up in some sort of side control and just touch it on the ground, okay? What you'll find a lot of times is people tend to cover their hands one hand on top of the other, and it makes it very hard for shots coming over or even elbows coming down to land. But if their hands are in a line like this, it means that something can come straight down through the middle, okay? So when you come straight across and spike down. If you're landing them, land them to open up bigger shots pair them off for other things. If you land one or two, you can then disengage and hopefully that'll stop the person on bottom following you to the feet and continuing to harass it. Are we done? Is that enough? Real time. I'm shopping. Real time? The last one, yeah. Right, yeah. Fine. In real time. I'm out. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Every time I will thanks again. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> it's my pleasure. That's another episode. 
of street fight survival. This has been fighting dirty. So we can do more of this. Let us know in the comment section any kind of position, situations, or things like that you'd like to know about. We'll set them up, we'll work out a solution, yeah, and we'll get it, get it over to you. Make sure, as always, to hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it, it really helps us share it. Make sure to follow Harvey on his Instagram, it will be linked in the description and on the screen here. Mm. And I think that is it. Yeah, for everything today. That's good. What's the capital of Thailand by any chance, you know? Oh, it's a bank. Oh, you <laughs>